Family and community members are demanding justice after they say a shadow team covered up evidence in the killing of Anastasio Hernandez Rojas. Rojas died while in Border Patrol custody. Human rights activists are calling it a murder. And now Congressional Representatives Juan Vargas and Sarah Jacobs are calling on the Department of Justice to act. News 8's Kirsten Holmes is live downtown with the new details. Kirsten? Yeah, we just got word about an hour ago that members of Congress are now asking for an investigation into those shadow units within Border Patrol. I'm here at the Hall of Justice where Rojas' family and activists say that that Border Patrol unit was responsible for a cover-up in Rojas' death. And they say unless someone holds them accountable, they will get away with murder. In the beginning, I was very mad. I was very mad, I'm not going to lie. But me and my family, we always knew that this was the case. Maria Puga is the widow of Anastasio Hernandez Rojas. This 2010 cell phone video captures Border Patrol agents beating and tasing Rojas while he was restrained, leading to his death. This happened in 2010. All of the evidence was destroyed. We, we got this video footage because a brave young woman came forward and gave us this footage. Michelle Salieri believes they have evidence of a cover-up and wants District Attorney Summer Stephan to investigate Rojas's death and hold the shadow team formerly known as the critical incident investigative team accountable who Soleri says covered up Rojas's death. This case could have been brought forward years before if this information had been presented. We know that people lose their lives routinely at the hands of Border Patrol. These facts are particularly egregious because we now know about the shadow unit that operated to cover up the murder of Mr. Hernandez Rojas. Genevieve Jones Wright is the executive director of Community Advocates for Just and Moral Government. Falsifying evidence, directing witnesses, tampering with evidence, and to think that a government agency engages in this level of corruption with impunity. Is sickening. U.S. Customs and Border Protection said in an earlier statement, the U.S. Border Patrol maintains teams with specialized evidence collection capabilities across the southwest border as many critical incidents involving CBP operations occur in remote locations where other agencies may be unwilling or unable to respond. Activists aren't buying that response. Enough is enough in that unit end the corruption and hold these folks accountable. We're not encountering this amongst white immigrants, we're just not. Meanwhile, Rojas's family awaits answers. See the evidence and see this case and hear our case out because it's been 11 years of injustice. We reached out to the San Diego District Attorney's Office for comment on this story and their office says, quote, we have not received a case for review. The district attorney's office stands ready to pursue justice when the evidence supports it and where we have jurisdiction. We can't comment on the Department of Justice's review of this matter. Now, in a joint statement, Representatives Vargas, Jacobs, and Joaquin Castro of Texas request that the Justice Department open up an investigation into the shadow units at the center of this case. Marcella. Kirsten, it has been more than 10 years, but you can still see, of course, his family wants answers. What's next in this case? Okay, so now that the story is changing a little bit, we have an update for you. Those representatives with the with Congress, they got the ball rolling on this case, and it's just an ask right now to the Justice Department. It is still up to the Justice Department to open up their investigation. And in the meantime, DA Stephan here in San Diego received the group's evidence that they believe is a cover-up. It's now in her hands or the Justice Department's hand. We'll keep you posted. All right, we'll continue to follow this case. Thanks, Kirsten.